Hey guys, how's it going? Chess back again. Welcome to episode number 114 of the Football Manager Stream Series. As always, if you're watching on YouTube, skip forward three or four minutes to where we actually get going in the background. That will be where we continue on from. I'm just in the process of putting the little notification video live. I'm a little bit later going live because I've been watching the Liverpool VRAL game. Wait until half time in that game before actually going live here over on Twitch. So uh, that's why we're a few minutes late. For those of you that are arriving in Twitch now, I'll tweet out in a memento that uh, we're live as well. Is not did I get Nightbot in? I think I did. Let's check. Try and put my Twitter link in the chat. Twitter, a hey. we're we're live and Nightbot is in. All right, let's tweet out, shall we? Let's tweet out, shall we? Liverpool on the telly, Liverpool on FM. Hey Ruben. You're downloading Football Manager right now, are you, rookie? Hopefully you enjoy, bro. Try a little bit, I do. Let's get cracking, shall we? Oh, hang on. Captain America. Oh. It's the end. <laughs> Captain America advert. I'm so hyped to see that movie tomorrow night. I can't wait. There's been so much, so much uh, stuff been uh, teased for it, like trailers, etc. Like so many different trailers. Dee 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 dee. Let's get going. Right, so we have Chelsea next. We're just about to enter December, actually. So we may get to the, Jan the January transfer window today, although it's a busy Christmas period. But Chelsea at home, then Everton, Zenit, although we're already qualified in the Champions League. Then Tottenham, Southampton, Arsenal, Leicester, West Ham. It's actually a really strong set of fixtures there that we'll, be, we'll do well to get through. We were on a, had a dodgy run of form, didn't we, a couple of streams ago, but we were able to turn it around in the last one. We started with a win against Gala, and it had a good run of form. We got a disappointing defeat against Watford. It was a disappointing defeat against Watford, but we bounced back with a 3-1 win at Old Trafford and then battered Leverkusen 5-1. So now I'm hoping that Chelsea at home, we can do a relatively decent job with. Origi wants first-team football. I'm just going to say Lacazette's been too good, because he has been. He's been on fire recently. Let's have a look. So, Alexandre Lacazette, his recent form. Five goals in his last two games. What more can I say? Lacazette is keeping uh, Origi out of, uh, out of the side justly. Let's see how we get on there. Oh. Chelsea's going to be difficult. They're sixth. We are fifth, I believe. Yes, we are. We'll have a look at the league table, shall we? Show you how things are going. We are fifth, a point ahead of Chelsea and a point out of the Champions League spots, although only three points off second. Tottenham so far running away with things, five points clear after 12 games. See if they can win the league this year. Who actually, who's, who is the current, Man United are the current holders. Let's have a look, uh, go away. I want previous winners. Uh, Man United, Man, oh, Man City won it first season and second season. Tottenham finished third. In uh, season one and two, we obviously finished third in the third season here at Liverpool after starting our save at uh, at Southampton. Chelsea and then the Merseyside derby is not going to be too easy, especially considering here yeah, William three goals, six assists. Especially considering we played our strongest side against Leverkusen. At least I think I played the strongest side against Leverkusen. Uh, everybody knows we have to keep working, consider us outsiders. Uh, terrible record against David Moyes. Okay. 
I wasn't aware of that. Uh, yeah, we played a strong side against Leverkusen, didn't we? Pretty sure we did. Hello, ten emails. Moyes admits to having been lucky against Wood. Oh, bless him. Bless him, he's being nice. He's being nice. Mauro Icardi again in Team of the Week in Serie A. He has eight goals in 13 games so far this season. Cambridge United player getting in the Team of the Week, though. That's good. Is that Joaquin Correa? Hello. Used to be at Sampdoria, didn't he? We bought him this season. Four goals, two assists. I like Joaquin Correa. He's a good young player. Uh, Sergio Aguero got goal of the month. Maurizio Pochettino. No surprise. Top of the league and uh, winning manager of the month. You just followed me on Twitter. Cheers, bro. Are you Harvey? Is that your Twitter username? W. Oh, West Bromwich Albion for life. Is your name Harvey? Because someone called Harvey just followed me on Twitter. Poor record against Chelsea. Liverpool in this save. We've got a burnt Leno. Oh, Kai Walker's tired. Jeeps. Flanagan then at right back. Uh, yes, we did start a very strong side against Leverkusen, which means a lot of people are going to be quite tired here, so we may have to rotate the side a little bit, but we might be all right. Place Matuidi and Granite Chaka holding will be fine. Jordan Ive is very tired, so we won't put him on the right. I could put Ariki out there. Let's go Daniel Sturridge, though. Changing from winger to inside forward. Uh, ooh. Astoria Cam. Yami on the left? Yes. Actually, let's put Yami on the right, and then we can put Origi on the left, because he's slightly better out there. Where are you? Divok. There you go. And let's go Studge up top, shall we? There we go. This better as a supportive inside forward. Is Origi better anywhere else? He's better as a supportive inside forward as well. Fair enough, like. Right. Uh, Diego Godin on the bench, as well as Callum Chambers. Um, go on then, we'll put Willems on the bench as well we'll go Jordan Henderson and I want a wide player to Jordan Ive despite the fact he's not 100% fit and, oh no, not Danny Ings Alexandre Lacazette on the bench too because we've got a full week's break before the Everton game so it should be fine Opinion on Pochettino uh, fantastic manager as far as I can make out let's calmly say we owe Chelsea Go and batter him. Huh. It is an email address that catches the eye, isn't it? Oh, we've gone 1-0 up already. What happened? I was too busy reading the chat. It is an email address that catches the eye, isn't it, Nob Ducky? Was it a free kick from Yami? It was. On his left-hand side. Ooh. Top bin. Great free kick. 1-0 up after three minutes. We will stay on attacking just for now, although we may have to change things up slightly before uh, the end of the game. Our passing has been shocking. Oh, good. Square it. No, why would you shoot? His storage is like, give it to me! Fuck. Never mind. Good corner. Up goes Blaze. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. Don't let Eden Hazard turn inside that easily. Or keep going. Thank the Lord for Burnt Leno. That's going to drop to someone, isn't it? Oh, actually, this way. Stowe's <gasps> just got the half to himself. Oh. Come on, Divock. Please, find someone. Or just do a roly-poly. She even said it out loud. In what... <laughs> in what sort of sentence? Was it because my... Uh, email for the PayPal was down there for like donations and subscriptions and stuff. Square it. Square it. Put, yes, see, pull it back. Oh, 
McTweedy! 2 0. Yes. That's what happens when you pull it back and don't shoot from narrow angles. Score goals. Great save by Courtois from Studge. I think it was actually Zuma that uh, tackled Sturridge there rather than Sturridge poking it to uh, Matuidi himself. But we'll take it. Brady's injured for them. Use your imagination, Beardy. I have ginger hair, hence where copper bollocks comes from. Four twenty blaze Matuidi. <laughs> GG. It was from the subscription, yeah, I thought I thought as much. Darren0873 subscribed for two months in a row. Thank you very much, Darren. Drop you some sub hype in the chat, my man. With 3 0 up, what is going on? 3 0 up at home against Chelsea after a 3 1 win at Old Trafford and a 5 1 win against Leverkusen. We're on fire right now! I'm on fire! I wish I could sing. Uh, I can't say anything other than I'm very happy, let's keep it going, can I? To be completely honest. Can't be like, oh, don't be complacent. Don't jinx me, Afzilla. Don't you dare jinx me. Still got a full half to go. If we can score three goals and a half, they can score three goals and a half. Can you do it on a cold night with Ustenda? I don't want to do it on a cold night with Ustenda, to be honest. To be honest... Where do I do all those stupid voices? I have absolutely no idea. I'm such an idiot. Firmino's tired, so we'll take him off. We'll put Henderson on and put Shaka at Cam. Yeah, go on in. Yeah, go on in. Looks like Studge did get the assist, though, for that uh, goal from Matuidi. Who do I want to win the Europa League? I'd love to see Sevilla win it again. I'd love to see Sevilla win it again. Oh, Yami hits the bar. It's what you do when you're at home on your own. Just my funny voices when you're walking around the house. Flanagan. Tweedy. Origi! Oh. It must be natural. It must be a natural thing for me to do funny voices, or just weird voices, because it's all I seem to do whenever I stream. Severe are losing today. They were 1-0 up last I saw. Shakhtar beat. It was Shakhtar Donetsk, isn't it? Oh yeah, Shakhtar turned it around. Marlos and Stepanenko, 2-1 two one, two one up Shakhtar at half-time. I'd like Severe to win it again, though. Although I like Villarreal. I like Villarreal, so I wouldn't mind it if Villarreal won. I just don't want Liverpool to win it, basically. Anyone but Liverpool. Severe, Villarreal or Shakhtar, just not Liverpool. You poured orange juice over your PlayStation controller and it doesn't work. Um, that probably wasn't the brightest of ideas, to be honest. Coutinho. Uh, Brad, was it Brad for Tom? No, Oscar. I just saw Coutinho in the chat and it said Coutinho for some reason. That was very good, boys. Well done. Oh, Jeeps, that sees us up to second. But we have played outside of the, uh, the normal fixture schedule. Second half's just started. Oh, Bakambu was nearly in after 12 seconds. Matweedy's cream in the crop. 9.1 for him. Moyes angry at rival defeat. 
Oh. Oh. He's not very happy. Liverpool are an English club. You need to support them. Uh, no. I don't need to support Liverpool just because they're an English club. Oh, Villarreal just hit the post as well. Bakambu. Just because Liverpool are an English club doesn't mean I have to support them in Europe. Plenty of che plenty of Liverpool fans that would be desperate for Chelsea to lose were it were roles reversed. Southampton have sacked Mancini. Lol. So Mancini got sacked at Liverpool, and we took his job, and then he took our job at Southampton, and now he's been sacked at Southampton as well. Roberto Mancini, you are a shit house. He left Inter to go to Liverpool, and then got sacked. S like six months later, and then let. Signed for Southampton and get sacked two years later. Uh -huh. It was your 15th birthday today, was it, Jammy Matty? Well, happy birthday. Everybody wish Jammy Matty happy birthday in the chat. I'm not going to apply for it, lol. No. Ballon d'Or list. I can vote. <gasps> I can vote for the Ballon d'Or because I'm an international manager. Oh, damn. Who are we going to vote for for the Ballon d'Or then, boys? Oh, let me tweet this out. I want to get some uh, some help from people over on Twitter. Come help me vote for the Ballon d'Or. Oh, damn. Oh, damn, damn. Right, I'll keep that open there so I can see the things. Happy birthday! Not Messi. <laughs> Let's have a look. Coutinho at Bayern is up for the Ballon d'Or. He has... He did it all right last season and so far this season three goals and five assists in ten games with an average rating of 7.93. In all, in all comps, he has three goals and seven assists in 14 games with 7.84 as a rating. You you won't be able to see that because either I'm in the way or the overlay's in the way. I could maybe... Nah, never mind. <laughs> it's not going to work. So, Coutinho is one option. Formerly of Liverpool, of course. We sold him to Bayern. Uh, Angel Di Maria is, the, uh, is another one. Four goals, four assists in 18 games for him so far this season. Last year, though, he was very good. 12 goals, 14 assists. So far this season in all comp... Oh, no, that's last season. So far this season in all competitions, four goals, four assists, 7.37 average rating. Pretty average for Coutinho and Di Maria. Douglas Costa has nine goals, eight assists last season. As you know, 14 goals, 10 assists in all competitions last season. And five goals, six assists in all competitions this season as opposed to last season. Uh, but an average rating of 8.08 .08. in Europe. He has two goals and three assists in three games. He's on average rating of 8.08 .08 at Arsenal. Messi. Messi last year had 19 goals and 17 assists with an 8.18 .18 average rating. So far this season, he's on fire. 12 goals in 14 games, one of which was a substitute appearance. For Barcelona, in total though, 15 goals in 19 games, but only two assists in all comps. 15 goals, but two assists in 19 games, an average rating of 8.24. Uh, I am surprised Dybala isn't on this list. You do make, you do raise a very good point. Uh, Neymar, last year got 11 goals, 9 assists. This year, 2 goals, 2 assists in all comps. Not Neymar, I don't think. To be fair, Messi is the standout right now. Uh, Luis Suarez, last year, oh yeah, last year Luis Suarez scored, wait for this, in 54 games, 43 goals and 13 assists in 54 games. So he either scored or, a scored or, assist scored or assisted 56 goals in 54 games last season. So far this year, 11 goals, 6 assists in 18 games. I'm going to vote for Luis Suarez. I think I'm going to vote for Luis Suarez. Actually, I could vote for Dybala. Paolo Dybala is here. 
Is that sorted by... If I sort it by average rating... This is why Costa Tevez is up here as well. Carlos Tevez, 25 goals, 10 assists. Where's Dybala? Where did Dybala go? Dybala. Dybala, last season, had 30 goals and 10 assists in 52 games. And this year, 8 goals, 4 assists in 18 games. I think it has to be Suarez, though. I think it just has to be Suarez. Thirty-seven, thirty-seven goals in forty-five games and eleven assists. I'm voting for Suarez. Vote person one. Oh, I can vote for three people, can't I? Well, we'll go Luis Suarez. Um, I think I'll go Suarez, Messi, Dybala. Although Hazard, look at Eden Hazard. Hazard last year had twenty-seven goals and nine assists in all comps, and this year has ten goals, ten assists in twenty-one games. I'm going to go Suarez, Hazard, Dybala. You think? Suarez, definitely Suarez first. Messi should probably be up there, though. But I want Dybala to get credit for the fact that he's incredible. Dybala, 22 goals, 8 assists. Messi is 26 goals, 8 assists. So there's not that much difference between them. And Dybala's arguably doing it in a, in a tougher league. Twenty-three goals, fifteen assists, so for Hazard is very, very, very good. Suarez, Hazard, Paolo, I think. You reckon Suarez, Messi, Hazard? Messi always wins the Ballon d'Or though on on Football Manager. I'm going to go Suarez, Hazard, Paolo, Dybala. Was it Ballon d'Or? Messi, Messi, Messi every year in this save. Uh, deserved it the first season. Probably deserved it the second season as well. Although, no, look, 60 goals, 40, 60 appearances, 47 goals, 18 assists for Luis Suarez. It's just because he has a higher average rating. And 50, 18 goals, 27 assists. 23 goals, 17 assists. 31 goals, 15. I swear it just does it on average rating, look. Oh, no, 7.68, 7.7. It has done it on average rating, though, the first three years. And if it does go by average rating, if it does go by average rating, it'll be messy again. Which is suck. So it'd be nice for someone else to win it. Leno completes his intensive language course. He's now able to speak fluent English. Uh, Shea Ojo is apparently a transfer target for Bournemouth. You can maybe have him on loan. I don't really want to let him go permanently. You're not having Kyle Walker, not a chance. You know, I might let you have Can uh, Brandigan. Yeah, since 2009, it's just been Messi and Ronaldo. Who won it? Who won it prior to Messi and Ronaldo? I've got an itch just on the inside of my nostril and it won't go away. It's really pissing me off. I apologise if it looks like I'm just sat here picking my nose. I'm not. I've got like a an itch just on the inside of my nostril. And every time I scratch it, it comes back. Uh, since 2008, it's been Ronaldo or Messi. It was Kaká. Kaká that won it in 2007. Cannavaro. In 2006, and then Ronaldinho. Oh, I could have hired Ronaldinho as an assistant manager. <gasps> oh, man. Andrei Shevchenko, Pavel Nedved, Ronaldo. I forgot that Michael Owen won the Ballon d'Or. I forgot Michael Owen won the Ballon d'Or back in 2001. Didn't... No. Yeah, Kevin Keegan won it twice, back-to-back -back years when he was at Hamburg. Uh, 
And it's the itch part of the ME. Um, I don't know, it might be connected. I doubt it, though. It's probably just an itch. Although my skin does get very irritable because of the ME. So it may, might, be re might be related. De Bruyne is on form for Manchester City. Nine goals, six assists for him in 20 games. Is he still wanting to leave? Let's see what is... Oh, his happiness is superb. He doesn't want to leave anymore. Well, we won't be getting him then. Gamero set back for Sevilla out for four weeks. Oh, well. We haven't got another international game for, like, a year, so... At least I think it's a year. I'll check after I've done this. You want me to scout Lamella? All right, sure. Carl Walker is increased ability, yeah. He's just getting better and better and better. Better and better and better. Yeah, the next next France game is the semi-final of that Nations League. And it isn't until the summer. is isn't until June. We've got Everton next in the BPL. Sevilla still lose... Oh me, God. I tell you what, my body is on overload today. Everything's going just playing up. Yeah, Sevilla is still losing 2 1. PSG step up chase for Ive. Not having him, mate. You're not having him, mate. He's fucking mine. What? Valued at 22 million right now. He doesn't have a release fee, I don't think. Good. Uh, nope. Does anyone have a release fee? Contract. Release. Pretty sure. Doesn't Chaka have a release clause? Chaka has a release clause, doesn't he? Yeah, 31 million. So why does it say... Set, oh, set for release. Oh. Can I see clauses? I can't, can I? Is there any way to tell what clauses people have on? Uh, Emmy can provide, can, you know, flare up complications that you can die from. Yes, Liam. There was a, a German musician not long ago uh, died of a stroke at 46 because of complications with Emmy. It's Emmy is a condition that is completely different for each individual that has it. Like there are some people that have Emmy that can't move from bed and need to be tube fed because their body doesn't work. Like their muscles, their body just shuts down that much. They can't chew. They need to be uh, fed intravenously and are co constantly just lying there in bed. Whereas there are others that have it to a lesser extent than me, and they can still kind of maintain a full-time job. Like 40 hour a week full-time job. It's, just, it, it's so different for each and every person that has it, which is why it's so ridiculous, so ridiculously frustrating. Right, well, the draw for the semi-final of that Nations tournament is now here. Uh will face either England, Portugal or Spain. I wouldn't say I was lucky, Jacob. I mean, you could look at it that way. You could say I'm quite lucky the fact that I don't have it that bad, but it it's almost more frustrating for me because it it affects me just, you know, past say there was a point, like a middle ground where there was a line where you were like you could still do stuff, you can't do anything. I'm just above that line like it's just severe enough with me that i can't do any of this stuff down here actually i don't even know whether you could see my hands there yeah you could so i'm kind of just above the line which is the most frustrating thing
Uh, minimum release clauses in the same section as sell-on clauses. Yeah, I didn't have that uh, section turned on, did I? Uh, Benzema's out for three months. Oh. Ouch. Hey, Gregory. Thanks for watching all the way over in Greece, bro. Appreciate that support. I appreciate support from anywhere in the in the in the globe. It's the best thing about the internet or having a job that revolves around people on the internet because you guys can be absolutely anywhere on the planet at any given point. Barcelona step ups uh, race for Yarmolenko. Nope. You ain't having him. He might. You're from Brazil. We got people from Norway. I love it, man. That's the that's the best thing about YouTube. I think having having the reach that you have on a global basis. Bournemouth have sacked Eddie Howe. You live in Peterborough. Cambridge, 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 Cambridge. Neymar hotly tipped. If Suarez doesn't win it, then it's a travesty. Where are Bournemouth this year? They had two or three really good seasons. Oh, they're 19th. They finished 13th first season, then 9th, and then 6th. And they have one dodgy season, and they're like, right, goodbye, Eddie. They've not even been in that bad a run of form. I think they've been harsh there to sell him. I think they've been really harsh to sell him. To sell him? To sack him. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. Uh, not comment on other teams, but we know we can. You should be doing an essay. <laughs> Go and do your essay, bro. Get your homework done first, or your coursework done first, and then either catch up on Twitch after, on what you missed on Twitch after I've gone offline, or watch the YouTube video tomorrow. Great should be dropped by Serbia. Yeah. There's so many youngsters here that I just haven't quite been able to get into my first team yet. Players like Grich, Jordan Ross, uh, Cameron. See, he's his leading player for most Premier League sides, but I haven't got room for him right now. Players like Ojo, Origi, Grich, uh, Jordan Ross, it's uh, Callum Chambers. Just I can't, I can't give them an, as much football as I want to. Because everybody else has been incredible. Joe Gomez is another one that we wanted to give first team football to. We just haven't had the opportunity to. Because everybody else has been in such good form. Misaki is playing out of his skin right now as well, actually. Chaka. Oh, I tell you what, actually, Matuidi's in great form. Let's go Jordan Ive on the right. Pastore Kamu himself has been in amazing form. And we'll go Lacazette up top, even though uh, Sturridge had a good game 
against uh, against Chelsea. Trow. Henderson, Groich, Firmino, Studge. Got a save at Porto, easily winning every game in the league, but just got an offer from City, who are 18th in the Premier League. And have just sacked Wadi. 18th in the Premier League? You're in 2017 18. It depends what their squad looks like, to be honest, Tom. A lot of people will say take it just because it's City and theoretically you would or you would expect to get a lot of money, but I'm not I'm not sure. What at what point in the season are City eighteenth? Because we took when we first took over here at Liverpool, they were oh that's a mistake. 1-0 down after 20 seconds. Great. When we first took over here at Liverpool, they were on the decline. And it we had to we narrowly avoided relegation before we were able to actually turn things around here. You're in November. November's alright. Yeah, I'd say take it if you're in November. I'd say take it if you're in November, because then you can at least try and do something in January. When we first joined Liverpool, it was the last day of the transfer window and all we were able to do was bring in Yarmolenko which is still a massive transfer obviously but if you're at City then you and you have a full window then you could definitely try and do something to right the wrongs that Pep Guardiola had done you'll have to let me know how you get on there bro like tweet me pictures and stuff Firmino just hit the post did he what in the Game against Villarreal. Oh, lovely ball by Jordan. No, mistake. Lacazette buries it. Mistakes at both ends. He's offside, is he? No. The linesman's just stood dead still. Okay. I thought the fact that the linesman was stood dead still meant that it was going to be given as offside. We made a mistake, they scored, they made a mistake, we've scored. Right, let's now build on that and go and get ourselves a win, shall we? Alright. Or just concede 30 seconds later. We'll try again. Shakhtar have a good side. I wouldn't say they have a quality side, Mark. But they definitely have some decent players. It's starting to snow. I haven't noticed any snow coming down yet. But now I can see snow falling. Was it snowing right from the beginning of the game? And I just didn't notice. I'm not going to take it off. We're 2-1 down. I don't want to take it off attacking. I don't mind if we end up winning 5-4 as long as we win. Oh, it's going to drop! Leighton Baines gets unlucky. 2-2 two -two after 22 minutes. This is madness. See you, Harry. Thanks for coming out briefly, bro. It's snowing in real life in Scotland. Oh, yeah. Are you in Scotland now, Sarah? Have you, did you fly this morning at 5 a.m. your time, which would have been 10 a.m. here? It was, what, 11 hours ago? It's only about a seven-hour flight, is it? To Scotland. When I flew back from New York, it was about seven hours. It was either... It was either seven hours there and nine hours back, or nine hours there and seven hours back. I can't remember. Two two at twenty two. Illuminati confirmed. If it was three three after thirty three, then perhaps it could be Illuminati confirmed. But it, it wasn't quite. They'll score a third here though. They have done. 
They've scored a third in the 33rd minute. Nine hour flight to Edinburgh. It depends on the... It's the rotation of the Earth, isn't it? So, it's, but yeah, it's probably quicker to go west because the, the Earth spins clockwise, doesn't it? So, yeah, as you are flying from the States here, the Earth is also travelling away from you, so it takes longer. Three two down at half time, assertively. Uh go up there and give the fans their money's worth. Well to be fair, they've probably got their money's worth. Whether they're happy with their money's worth or not, I'm not sure. Well no, they won't be if we lose. But you're in the air for over twenty four hours when you came to England. Yeah, did you fly direct from this, from Australia, Monty, or did you stop off in like Dubai or Thailand? A lot of flights to uh, either New Zealand or Australia from England or coming the other way, stop off in either Thailand or Dubai. Ben Bell 1999 just subscribed. Thank you very much, Ben. It's been about eight months since you were last sub, so cheers for that, bro. Appreciate that. We'll drop you the sub hive. It's going to bump us back up to 128, I think. It does. I'll adjust my overlay accordingly. Cheers, me. Don't go 4 2 down. We've gone 4 2 down. Right then, time to make some changes. Um, but what changes to make? That is the question. Make now, though. Yarmolenko is not having the best. Game. Nobody's really having a good game, to be honest. The defence are having a horrible game. Everybody is looking motivated, though, apart from Chaka, who's furious. So we'll put Jordan Henderson on there to make sure Chaka doesn't get sent. Let's put Firmino on for. Yeah, for me, the one for Yarmolenko. Come on, the boys. Yeah, I said, I said I'd take a 5-4 win, didn't I? We'll switch to overload, though. Hey, everyone. Ah, I get to see that for real tomorrow in the actual film. Yeah. They bring on an Adrian for Soldado. Villarreal above me. Firmino. Come on, boys. Let's get one back, and then we've got plenty of time to try and get an equaliser. Get one back now. I just want to... I'll read that donation in a minute. We just got... I want to see the combination of this move. Come on! Come on! Brilliant. No, don't tell me they're going to catch me on the counter and score a fifth. Piss off. Wow, they nearly did. Uh, it was a pound from Bell. It says, have a cheeky quid as well. Cheers, bro. Appreciate that, bro. I appreciate that, man. Square it, Blaze. Keep it in, Blaze. Oh, Willems has got a good whip. Please, someone score. I mean, oh, no. Jordan Pickford. Up we go. Someone bury it. Oh, my God. How long a highlight does this need to be? Hey, Jake. I don't know how good Tyson is on FM, to be honest. I don't know. Uh, you stopped in Abu Dhabi. Yeah, I just saw that in the chat. Took Once took you 32 hours to get to Japan from Australia. Shouldn't that be... Surely Japan to Australia is a straightforward flight, isn't it? How's that gone in? Five two. It's gone straight through Burnt Leno. That's really poor. Yeah, surely Japan to Australia is a straightforward flight. Or was there like bad weather over Indonesia and Malaysia? It's 
I know like weather can get pretty extreme over there. With monsoons, etc. etc. That was fucking shit. That was awful. That was fucking awful. That was just really bad. Yeah, it got diverted to vanilla, to vanilla and had to wait for in the plane for a while. They missed the connection to Hong Kong. Yeah, I presumed it was weather-based. Well, we battered Chelsea and then... And Moyes apologised to the fans, and we just got battered by Liverpool, and I just apologised to the fans. We've got Tottenham coming up as well. Oh, yeah, it was pretty good. And we, to make matters worse, we just had to give Leon another £4 million. Pounds. Never mind. We've still got plenty of fucking money left. So it's all right. It's all right. Sydney to Tokyo. Yeah, it, I guess it all depends where you fly from. Because Australia is a fucking big country. It's like a huge... If I was a good player at Cambridge, I wouldn't have the option to retire or sign for Peterborough. If I was, if I was a player in, at Cambridge and had the option to sign for Peterborough or to retire, I'd probably retire. But if someone wants to sign you, then that normally means that you're doing all right. So Cambridge wouldn't, like the option to retire, wouldn't be there. V Thunder 28 subscribed for two months in a row. Thank you very much, V Thunder. V Thunder. Do, 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 do. FA Cup third round. Did I empty the? Yeah. I came. No, Cambridge lost, didn't they? In the in the replay. Mind. Who are we going to get in the third round? We've said we'll get to the semi final, so I would like an easy draw, or an easier draw if possible, in before it gives me something that's really really hard. We got Brentford away. That's not a, an easy tie, but it's not an altogether impossible tie. Brentford are a decent. Haven't we played Brentford before in this save? Either with Liverpool or uh, Southampton. We didn't play them there. We didn't play them there. No, it must have been another save. Or it might have been Capital One Cup. QPR. No, we haven't. I thought we had for some reason. Might have been the other save. To be fair, we did get like nine seasons into the other one, so it may well have been the other save. Do, 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 do. 
It was sacked in January after a few bad results. Now in October and no job yet. Oh man, that sucks. Oh man. That sucks. Well, I'm going to start... We're already through in the Champions League, so I'm going to start a weak side. Or a weaker side. So let's, yeah, let's play Tamers in the middle, and then Flanagan at right back, because we've got two left backs that are world-class, so might as well do that. Uh, Groich. Henderson. Then we'll play Origi on the right. Uh, oh, Firmino can, why not? And Ojo on the left, and then Danny Ings up top. And we'll play Minule in goal as well, why not? Why the hell not? Yeah! Um, Sakio. Uh, Sakio. Studge. Yamalenko. Check out. Five. Severe scored. They made it 2 2. If they, if they I have, I just checked score center and it's flashing at me. We are 4 to 6 favorites. Against Zenit. But I'm playing a really weak side. I'm going to assertively say. Relax, go play the, play the natural game. We'll see how we get on. Not expecting a win here. I'm probably expecting to lose, but I'd like to get a decent result against Tottenham, to be honest. That would be the main aim from these two games. Who was it that scored for Sevilla? Kevin Gamero from the penalty spot. Two away goals is decent. I'm sure they'll be happy with happy enough with that. Oh lovely ball through. Ojo! How's that not gone in? He's hit the post. It's rolled across the line and come back out again. Yes! Gets himself an assist though, laying it back to Danny Ings. I don't know why they've got one stand shut. Why is one stand closed? Is it under construction or something? Strange. An entire stand right behind the goal just closed off. It's good football. Oh, they're going to equalise. Ninth of May go to Benidorm, 22nd of May go to Wembley for FA Trophy final. The thing came, which knocked you out of. Yeah, we knocked you out of it. And then we won it. Are you going to Benidorm with your parents, Ben? Presumably, being like 16, almost 17, or just having turned 17. Although, to be fair, you might be going with friends, I don't know. Oh, what a save, Simon. Simon! Uh, I'd rather not discuss the Everton result. Thank you, Jacob. <laughs> Jacob, sorry. We lost 5-2. 
Yeah, that happened. We lost 5 2. Danny Ings has got a pulled hamstring, so he's going to have to come off. We'll put Sturridge on there. Sturridge can do a job. And now Ozo's injured too. Great. That's perfect. Wonderful. Amazing. Awesome. Fine. This is why I played the rotation side. Oh! Origi! Screamer! I'm pretty sure you're not 21, Ben. You added me on Facebook when I had the Facebook profile. I remember you being 16 <laughs> at that time. Because I remember you telling me about your father, actually, now you've said that. But, yeah, you're... I know you're 16 slash 17. <laughs> I'm contemplating a buying um, Minule, actually. Not Minule. He was the one that just had the ball. Contemplating buying Hulk. Oh, they nearly got another rebound. Take a 2 1 win from this. I'll be delighted with that. If we can get there. Uh, that's going to be a red card for Hulk. Moreno just missed a great chance, did he? didn't see it. I didn't see it. We do get a 2-1 win though against Li against Liverpool. <laughs> against Zenit. I'm just going to calmly say a good win. Well done. No point saying anything too dramatic. Leverkusen beat Gala as I expected as well so we do only finish second in the group. What was the score? 3-2 in the end. So we are going to get a potentially harder draw. But I'm not sure what the... What was that? That was the Tuesday. We'll wait till after the Wednesday. See, when is the draw? Uh, when is the draw stages? It doesn't say. Schedule. Uh, first qualifying... Oh, no, it's qualifying. What would you like to do? Do, 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 do. So uh, seventeenth, right? So it's in a week's time. First knockout round draw. So we're not got to wait long. Oh, he goes up. No, he broke his ankle. Well, uh, that sucks. Danny Ings is up for two to three weeks too. We got a million pounds for the win though. Valandor Suarez. See you, Admiral. Bye, buddy. France plays on song for clubs. We've got top of the table Tottenham next. Top of the table Tottenham. 
all the teas. France remained third in the late. It's, how are we third? Behind England and Brazil. Never been the third best side in Europe in the world, but never mind. Chelsea have qualified. Yay! Is the beer still growing? Yes, he is. Good. Oh, Virial has scored. I just glanced up. Virial has scored. Yeah! Golasso Adrian! Yes! Yes! <laughs> Klopp's grinning, bless him. Oh, the touch. Oh, and they sweat it. They sweat it! They sweat it across. Is that Denis Suarez to Adrian? He couldn't really miss there, could he? The ball, though, was was the ball from Pina. The first touch from Denis Suarez was something else. <gasps> Colasso. And they just Liverpool just immediately punted it towards Benteke. Southampton have hired Steve McLaren as manager, which means that the Rangers job is now available, one that I obviously won't be applying for. De Bruyne again puts in a good performance for Man City. Axel Witzel's been recommended to me. I don't know about you though. Nangolan is a player that is incredible, but Centimede is really not a place where we need anyone. Or at Cam, despite how good Julian Draxler might be. Although he's not really done much the past couple of seasons. Yeah, the first touch was really good. It looks like Sevilla Shakhtar has finished 2-2. Vamos. Yes, Viriel. Cambridge win as well. Go on, the boys. Was it a last minute winner? No, it was a 60 second minute winner. Are they off the bottom of the table now? Oh, they're 21st. How's that for a recovery? He's fucking shit, to be honest. Dagnum has sacked the manager. To be uh, 12 minutes. They're not playing him, to be honest. Could have sworn he's there as like a first team player, supposedly. Never mind. Never mind.
We've never beaten Tottenham. Great. Well, I'm going to go for a wee quickly, and then we will try and beat Tottenham for the very first time. BRB. Oosh. Right, Tottenham. Oh, this is going to be a difficult game. Mm, Goodine's been in better form. William. Firmino's been in good form too. Oh, Firmino! Oh, go on, they will just play Firmino. I keep getting torn now between which one to play. Story and Studge. Sorry, Divok. We're favourites, apparently. We'll take that. Henderson's just be vested. Just be vested. Assertively, we owe Tottenham. Go out there and batter the bastards. Excuse me, Juan. I'd rather. Uh, uh oh. oh Didn't we get hammered by Tottenham last time we played? That was the FA Cup final, wasn't it? And we lost like three 0 I remember now. And we're one 0 down after ten minutes. Great. 
That's fantastic, that is. That's amazing. Fucking Tottenham, man. I hate them so much. I missed the goal. Was it was it something stupid that happened? I just saw, I just saw out of the corner of my eye it flashing. Hey, number one fan lyric. If we can get an equaliser now, that'd be fantastic. Come on, Alexandra. Oh, it's good enough, ball. Joel! Hugo Lloris! Wow. It was hilarious defending was shambolic. Oh, buzzing. I'll have to have a look at it back. Show me something else in the second half, you shithouses. Please. I said, please. Come on, Yami. Oosh. Fucking oosh. I'm on control, bro. <laughs> I'm on control already. We started on attacking, but I switched to control uh, just after they scored. Lacazette did, every, Lacazette did everything he could have done in that situation. Square it. <sighs> They're defending well. Go home! Can't score against the man. Oh my god! He won't go in. Oh, and there's nobody at the back stick. I'm hoping to do a FIFA 17 wish list for Sunday. At least a small one. I'm going to go all out and make a triple change. Go on, boys! Probably should have given him pre match and all. Instructions, but fuck it. Go on, boys. You can do it. S score, yes! Jordan I, but last. Oh, thank the Lord. That was a bloody nightmare. <sighs> Keeps a sixth, but we're only two points off second. It's so tight there. On a nice run of form.
Oh yeah, the goal we conceded. I want to have a look at it because I missed it. Oh, that just showed the replay of the goal for Villarreal again. That first touch. Just out of this world. Yep. Yep. We'll move on from that, shall we? Do 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 do. Man City fans excited by prospects of Lacazette? No. No. He's going nowhere. No. No. Those one to twenty one for at least for the national side. He's going nowhere. You cannot have him. He's mine. Steve McManaman. We've got Southampton next. Our former side, of course. What are Newcastle doing up there? I don't know. You never know. By the time we get to December 2018, Newcastle might be up there. Because they got relegated and then finished third and then won the championship and now they're third in the uh, second in the Premier League. Florin Andone has scored 11 goals in 13 Premier League games. What the shit, I believe, is the phrase that should be used there. And if it weren't for him, they'd be nowhere. They haven't scored many goals though, have they? They must have been winning like 1-0, 2-1, 2-0. Got five on winning against QPR. Three nil, one nil, one nil, one nil. Yeah, they don't score many goals. If it weren't for him, although to be fair, Chelsea has seven in nine. That's mad. How are they doing that? That's fucking amazing. That is. Uh, no, the draw is. Actually, you might be right there. Champions League. When was the Champions League draw supposed to be? Schedule. It was supposed to be on the 17th, yeah. Why have they not done the draw yet? Oh, have you not done the draw? Oh, it's there. No, that's Euro Qualifiers group stage draw. Um, excuse me? Oh, no, there's still, there's still games to be played. We can't... What did they schedule the draw for the... I don't know. That's weird. The draw was scheduled on the schedule before the group stage had actually finished. So, presumably, then, the draw will come... I'll still win 3-0. Presumably now the draw will be around the corner. There you go. Here it is. Liverpool have not been seeded. Oh no, we've not been seeded. Right, now you can't meet someone from your own country in the first knockout draw. So we are going to get one of Benfica, Schalke. We can't get Leverkusen because they're in our group. We can't get Arsenal. Bayern, Barcelona, Juventus, Porto. So we want Benfica, Schalke or Porto really. I'd like to avoid Bayern, Barcelona and Juventus. Let's find out. Well, we can't get Chelsea. Oh, Chelsea, Barcelona in the first knockout round. Can't get Valencia. They've got Arsenal. So we can now get anyone. We can't get Man United because they're in our seeded thing. There goes Porto. We're at home. First leg to Juventus. Fuck. That's a difficult game. That's a difficult game. Probably going to get knocked out. That's a difficult game. Hello. Oh, wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven Scudettos in a row. They're currently second, though. Napoli are pushing them close. Oh, man. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. Fuck. 
Jesus. Mary Manzukic is smacking him in. Talk about Dybala's goals. Manzukic is still doing just as well. <laughs> the church chat. Just rip, 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 rip. Yep. R.A.P. me. Scout France. Godin's contract. He's got three and a half years left on it. Not a chance of my renegotiating that. Me. Yeah, facing Dybala and Mandzukic is not something that I would like to do. I do this all the time. I don't have any ill feelings towards Southampton. We do have Arsenal in three days' time, though, on Boxing Day, and then Leicester after that, so... Uh -oh. Castro said he's going to jump off his roof today. What, if he gets a 190? If he gets a 190 foot draft, he's going to jump off his roof. He's doing alright. I'm not going to complain. He's doing well. Christ, Stoke got battered. Leno... I'm going to want my best players to play against Arsenal, so I'm going to start Sacco and Masakio. Let's go Groich and Henderson. Arigi, Pastore. Oh, he's just injured, isn't he? Shit! Shit! Studge. Oh, Danny Ings is injured as well. Fuck. Well. Go on him. I'll just make sure to bring Ivo off. Please, my tweedy. Firmino and Lacazette. Stigurdsson and Luke de Jong, they're starting up top. Got Guardado, Wanyama, Kranovita, Carbonero, Caceres, Van Dijk, Mamana, Bertrand, Ruli. So it's pretty similar to the side that we were putting out two years ago. They brought in Carbonero, who's been good for them. And Luke de Jong is doing okay, but he's not setting the world alight. Let's give the fans something to cheer, shall we? Uh, Sacco got banned for failing a drugs test. In real life. We're not sure what for yet. I don't know what what he failed to like what he tested positive for. I'm not sure it's been released. It may have been. He's got thir I think UEFA have got thirty days to uh, evaluate because he's not actually officially been charged yet. You wait for about 30 days to investigate. Oosh. Fat burning pills. What was the uh, what was the actual drug? 
I'm one of them, great fucking Brian Bertrand. What was the actual drug in question? Because it won't have been everything that was in the fat burners. Because he got dropped earlier in the season for being overweight. Oh, did he? Oh, did he? Do I think Liverpool will win the Europa League? They could quite possibly win the Europa League. I hope they don't, though. I'd like Liverpool to beat Southampton, though. If you don't mind. That'd be nice. Or at least get an equaliser. No, fat, fat burners all told aren't illegal, but um, there will be something in the fat burner that will have, will have been illegal. It will have had an illegal, um, it will have had an illegal ingredient in it. Oh, nice to square it. Ooh. There's a man there waiting. Yes, great! We're level. Sergio Ramos isn't overrated. Sergio Ramos is one of the best centre-backs in Europe. No, the drug isn't fat burner. Fat burner isn't a drug. Fat burner is a type of product that will have had an illegal substance in one of the ingredients. That's what it will have, he will have failed for. He won't fail for having fat-burning pills, because fat-burning pills aren't illegal. It will be something that's in the fat-burning pills. Yeah, it was uh, one of the ingredients in the fat burner. Just because Ramos has a little bit of ill discipline about him doesn't mean he's not a really good defender. Roy Keane used to get sent off left, right and centre. He was still one of the best holding midfielders in European football back in the day. Change. Let's bring on Firmino on the left. And actually, I want to put. I'd like to put Chaka at camp. I can't. Never mind. I'll leave it as is then. Oh uh, yeah, Delhi's got a three-match ban for punching Jakob. I saw that. Which is fair enough. Go on, Studge. Go on, Studge. No, Daniel. Damn. Daniel! Pogba isn't that special. Um, for his age, he's extremely good. Well, we're 2 1 down.
Oh, that was the illegal element. Thank you, Chris. Bendroflumathiocide. That was the illegal... That was the illegal... Uh, substance in the fat burner, was it? Let me Google it. Um, Bendroflumathiocide tablets belong to a group of medicines called theocide diuretics, water tablets. They may be used to reduce fluid retention, particularly in the heart, kidneys, liver, all that caused by medication by increasing the flow of urine. Reduce high blood pressure alone with or with other medication. Yeah, so it was uh, to reduce fluid fluid retention, to help him lose water weight. That was the the substance in the fat burner that was illegal. It must have some sort of um, side effect that is performance enhancing struggled on the road for a long time now I'm going to say that Barnet sack Moises Gomez had a half decent game for Fulham as they won morale's a bit Iffy, considering the run of form we've been on, although to be fair, we did get hammered by Everton, they're still recovering from that. We won away there, although we lost in the way in the league, we lost away in the league, we won away at Old Trafford, drew away at Galatasaray. We haven't really had that bad a run, it's just two games. That's not really a, oh, you've really struggled away from home of late. Like, it's just two games, mate. Chill. Chill. Chill, mate. Chill. Okay. Ah, Euro qualifiers draw. We're in. The, we're first seeds, right? Qualification for Euro. Is it a qualification group this late on? The group's being drawn now for Euro twenty twenty with just eighteen months to go. I guess it must be. All right then. We'll have some more. Why have you gone to the store on my Xbox? What? This will be um, the group that we have to qualify from. We are first seeds though, so we'll be one of the last names out of the hat. Serbia, Lithuania, Lithuania, nah. Lithuania, Luxembourg, Montenegro, Faroe Islands, Andorra, Albania, Moldova, Gibraltar, Iceland, Latvia, San Marino, Estonia, Kazakhstan, Macedonia, Liechtenstein, Belarus, Finland, Cyprus, Malta, Norway, Azerbaijan, Georgia, uh, or Georgia and Armenia. At present, I'd like to avoid. Either the Bosnia group or the Poland group, I think. They're probably the two that I'd like to avoid, so E or F, I think. Although it's got slightly easier with Northern Ireland, Romania, Bosnia, Croatia, Scotland, Belarus, Finland, that's a difficult group. Czech Republic, Turkey as well. That's a difficult group. Italy, Russia, Ukraine, Netherlands. We've already that one. Portugal, Spain. So we're gonna don't, not that one. England, Croatia, Scotland. Well, Switzerland, Germany, France. We're gonna be the last name out the hat. So to qualify for Euro twenty twenty. Uh, it sucks because it's right at the bottom and you can only see half the group. We have Armenia, Czech Republic, Georgia and Turkey. That's a difficult group. There are only two qualification spots available. And we have Czech Republic and Turkey in our group. 
Other groups are Azerbaijan, Germany, Hungary, Norway, Slovenia. You'd maybe say Germany and Norway to progress from there, perhaps. Or Germany and Hungary. Maybe Slovenia, they have a few decent players. Austria, Cyprus, Israel, Malta, Switzerland. You'd say Austria and Switzerland to progress there. Andorra. Oh no, hang on, I've scrolled too far. Um, Belarus, Croatia, England, Finland, Scotland. You'd say England and Croatia. Bosnia, Macedonia, Liechtenstein, Romania, Spain. Spain and Bosnia or Romania, perhaps. Maybe Macedonia if they can put up a few good results. Estonia, Kazakhstan, Northern Ireland, Poland, Portugal. That'll be Poland, Portugal. Belgium, Greece, Iceland, Latvia, Netherlands, and San Marino. You presume it would be the Benelux nations, Belgium and the Netherlands. Albania, Denmark, Gibraltar, Moldova, Ukraine and Wales. It could be Wales, it could be Ukraine, it could be Denmark. That's a difficult group, actually. Uh, Andorra, Bulgaria, Faroe Islands, Ireland, Montenegro, Russia. Any of the bottom three, I think. Ireland, Montenegro or Russia could qualify there. Italy, Lithuania, Luxembourg, Serbia, Slovakia, Sweden. That's a difficult group as well. Italy, Serbia, Slovakia and Sweden. So to be fair, we, we've, I think the easiest group we could have gone into... Would have been perhaps the one that Spain went in, or this one with Belgium instead of Belgium or the Netherlands, because we know we can beat Belgium and the Netherlands because we did it in the uh, nations thing, didn't we? France is France handed the easy group apparently. Only Turkey likely to provide any sort of real threat. Really, Czech Republic are a good side. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? It's not too bad for a 14-year-old. For a 16-year-old, sorry. 18-year-old. Get the. I'll get there eventually. Um. Sure. Right, that's going to do us for today. Did you... Because it's half ten. Um, I'm out tomorrow night, so I won't be streaming tomorrow. But I will be streaming Saturday, so I'll be back Saturday. And for those of you that... Uh, for Subscriber Sunday... This came today through the post. So I will have FIFA 16 for PS4 as well as Xbox One. So I can play people on, P subs on PS4 as well. That'll be Sunday. No stream tomorrow. Back Saturday. Okay? Brilliant. Thanks to Ben for the donation and the subscription tonight. And there was a couple of other people that resubscribed as well. We had uh, Darren resubscribe as well and V Thunder. So thank you to those guys. Thank you to you guys as well for stopping by. And uh, I'll see you next time.